I just thought I'd do a quick video. This is a really good educational uh, illustration, if you will, of identifying chalk brood. And as we've mentioned before, chalk brood, it's a fungal infection, which even though, you know, genetics play a very significant part in it, uh, it's also a stressor disease. And, you know, this season, just with how crazy uh, we were seeing rain, colder temperatures, well past when we usually would. And so we were seeing a little more prevalence of chalk brood this year. Um, once again, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, again, these are the little mummies that, uh, that are cast out, if you will, on the bottom board. But just when you're walking through your apiary, it's just a really good identification factor. This colony, in general, looks like it's doing okay. Uh, it definitely got knocked back uh, just because of this weather. Uh, they're not into the honey super yet. But uh, whenever you come across chalk brood like that, just uh, make note of it and, you know, come back a week later, two weeks later, probably a week, <laughs> yeah, just to keep an eye on it. Um, and just see what the colony is doing. Is it uh, regressing? 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 Is it going backwards or is it going forwards? There we go. And if it's going forwards, then it's just kind of one of those things you want to make a note of and probably look at switching out the queen at the end of the season or later in the year uh, because genetics have a significant part of that. But uh, external stressors, internal stressors can also uh, play a part. As far as treatments, <laughs> I have heard from everything from garlic powder to, uh, you know, sprinkled on the, uh, on the top of the frames to probiotics to, um, uh, what was the other one? Banana peels. And so, and I've heard with equal conviction from all those parties that that's a good treatment. Um, experiment with it. See, see what works for you. For us personally, uh, what we do is just mark those highs and look at requeening them with superior genetics, with genetics that aren't, don't have the same proclivity, if any, uh, proclivity to that type of infection. Anyways, catch you later.